This is our 2019 Mercedes C43 AMG. It's in the best color, in my opinion, for these vehicles, brilliant blue metallic. And with it being the 2019 facelift version, it's got all those enhancements that come with the 2019 facelift. So for example, you've got the twin round exhaust outlets on either side set into the rear diffuser, which looks great. You've got that rear spoiler, rear lip spoiler on the boot lid. You've got the brake vents there in the bumper. You've also got the digital dash, which you get on the 2019 one as opposed to the analog. Uh, this one's got quite a few nice options. First of all, it's the Premium Plus, so it's got the panoramic roof and the Burmester sound system. With it being a 2019, it's also got the higher horsepower. So it went up from about 360 horsepower um, to 390 horsepower by turbo. It's four matic, it's four wheel drive, which is great. You can use it in all weathers. Uh, this one's got the 19 inch uh, satin black multi-spoke wheels uh, shod in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, which are probably some of the best tires you can get. Um, gloss black highlights everywhere. So you've got the gloss black, it's got the night pack, it's got the gloss black window surrounds. I've had the door handles finished in black, gloss black roof, mirrors. And then you've also, we've also finished the, the grill in gloss black as well. Uh, and then you've got the lower um, front lip spoiler at the, at the bottom half of the bumper uh, that finishes it off beautifully. So it makes it stand out a little bit from the other C43s which are on the standard 18 inch wheels or uh, don't have the, the black accents. Uh, and also I think just the, the, the blue color on this just really suits and makes it um, just really suits the vehicle and, and I think makes it stand out from some of the others. This one's got the full LED intelligent lighting system, multi-beam LED. They do a little dance on startup, um, which is quite, uh, quite interesting, quite fun. Uh, and then obviously it's got the LED daytime running lights. So one owner car, full service history from Mercedes. So beautiful condition throughout, as you can see. You can see there the rear LEDs, which look great. Now let's show you the inside of the vehicle. So starting on the passenger side, You've got the Mercedes puddle light that project downwards. You've got the uh, black Artico uh, leather effect finish to the doors, dash and seats with the Alcantara insert. Uh, and then the red contrast stitching looks fantastic. Brush stainless steel here to the uh, trim. And then you can see here, you've got the Burmester audio, the tweeter and the main speaker and the mid range. You've got memory electric heated to both, both seats. Uh, and then the brush stainless finish continues on to the door release and the window button. Illuminated AMG entry sill plates, AMG mats with matching red stitching. Same on the dash and the same brush steel effect here. Uh, useful storage net there. And then the seat there finished. As you can see, you've also got lumbar support there, electronic. Moving on, the seats move forward electronically when you press, when you pull the lever. You can see there you've got uh, the twin Burmester speakers in the back as well on both sides and then the contrasting red seat belts and the matching AMG floor mats and storage nets at the back. So the thought of all the details of Mercedes when they've created this interior, it really looks fantastic and, and makes it uh, feel a special place to be in. Uh, where's the boot release? Let's just have a look. Not sure. Um, I have to do it from the door. So pop-up powered boot lid. Nice big boot area. Plenty of storage there. Underneath you've got the original load uh, load space. Divider and cargo box. 
electronic close. Much the same on the driver's side as, as the passenger, so the Burmester, the memory seats, the black Arteco and the white, the red stitching, uh, power folding, adjustable mirrors, your window buttons there, etc. Moving on to the inside, you've got your illuminated, which pulses start button, parking sensors, seat belt, um, hand it, hand out, so you know whether it pops forward with the with the seat belt when you close the door. So we'll start it up. Sounds very very nice, nice uh, throaty exhaust. You've got the sports exhaust button here, so if I put that on, you can't hear, but I can hear the um, the tone deepens in the exhaust. Uh, volume buttons, home, you've got the scroll wheel there and the touch control pad there. You've got a dynamic button, so you can select different uh, individuals set to dynamic, so it's uh, more sporty. The exhaust note goes into powerful mode, sounds great. Sport Plus, very much the same. Exhaust set into powerful mode, the suspension in Sport. So that's through that. You can also adjust the suspension with the, the button here. That selects your gear to, uh, will change your gear selection to manual. And then here you've got stop start, you've got the camera system as well, which you can see here, it'll display the image and you can select the different, um, let's just put it in reverse actually. You can select the different um, view, uh, camera images or display you want it to, to display here. And you just use this wheel here to select what you want. Just put that back in park. Now with this uh, display here, you can actually, um, sorry, this is this one, I'm just learning this car myself, but this button controls this screen here, and then you can just sort of touch this, as you can see there, to select the different menu options. And then you just touch it again, for example vehicle, you just press it there, and then you can go into that menu and again scroll down to to go through the various sub menus um, so that's that and then on this side of the steering wheel same buttons but this time it controls uh, it controls the screen here and again you can um, you can select the different sub menus with this sort of touch sensitive button so for example you can alter the design of the dash sport there we go and then classic you can display the nav it's quite clever g-force boost um, all sorts of different options you can actually display in the screen um, so I think that's that's pretty cool much improved over the previous uh, design that used to be just the standard analog uh, standard analog dash Here you've got your cruise control, speed limit sense, uh, speed limit setting, voice control here, volume, phone, etc. You've got this lovely AMG flat bottom steering wheel with the branding and the red stitching. Uh, lovely brushed stainless with knurled knobs finished for the air vents, which look great. The gloss black finish on the interior, and then you've also got your dual zone climate control there. Um, and then in here, you've got your USB ports and a memory card slot. We have of course got two keys for the vehicle Mercedes have improved the look of their keys now drastically look a lot better than they used to um, and then we've got the book pack and bits and pieces that come with the car from new and here you've got your things like your sunglasses holder you've got your switch for the panoramic roof uh, lights etc lovely really really nice vehicle really stands out if you want a, a c43 with a four-wheel drive and 400 horsepower then this is definitely the vehicle to have
And that's it folks. That's our 2019 C43 AMG four-wheel drive. One owner car. If you would like this car delivered to your home or office, just simply give us a call and discuss that option with us. It costs from £1.50 a mile and £2 a mile in an enclosed trailer. The car is still under warranty, manufacturer's warranty and roadside assistance. So uh, you're fully protected in that respect for the next, um, well, till the car reaches three years old. If you want a finance quote, go to our website, kingsbridgeautos.co.uk and we have a finance calculator and application tool right on the website underneath each vehicle so you can apply directly online. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video of our C43 and found it informative. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to email or call. I look forward to hearing from you. Goodbye.